Okay, today we are playing a game on Volskaya Industries. We are in the Silver SR range, and we will be playing Reinhardt the entire way through. With special guest, the top half of my son's head for like three minutes. We are also on the console today, so consider yourself forewarned. So, we've got to defend Volskaya first. That's too loud. There we go. And uh, we're mostly hoping they don't, you know, do the Symmetra thing at us, which is dreadfully annoying. But conveniently, it doesn't look like that's what they're deciding to do. So I need to let our shield regenerate a little bit. We might as well have said, let it regenerate a little bit more because putting it up at a thousand health isn't really a lot. Um, and now, as they're starting to push through the door, we don't have our shield ready, really. We've got it at 700 health, but we, of course, don't want to let our shield break, so we have to take it down before it actually breaks, which usually means if you got a 1,000 health shield, it's actually 800 health or 700 health, depending on how brave you are. Zarya is going way outside the door. Someone was contesting the point behind us, but we're playing the main tank. We're not meant to be the one to go and try to resolve that issue. Didn't need to have our shield up right now, either. Could just let it be regenerating. The enemy team is regrouping right now, so that's like the time to let your shield regenerate. So soldiers decide to use tack visor, even though we can see like exactly one person outside the gate right now. He decided to go for it anyway. But hey, what can you do? He's a silver guy on console. He's none. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Okay, we were getting a little bit greedy. Decided to go out the gate as well, but we didn't go that far. You know, it's fine. It's not like they've got anybody out here. He's got crowd control to punish us. Um, two people still managed to die to self-destruct. Amazingly enough, soldier was in the room. Soldier was in the fucking room behind us, and he died. Where was Junkrat? See, there is Soldier, very briefly, we see on the side. Where is Junkrat? Is Junkrat in there too? They both duck in there and fucking died? Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, how disappointing. So that was, uh, I, ah, you know, it could have been better. It could have been better. I mean, the, the charge to begin with is quite optimistic. We've given D.Va a long time to react to this charge. We have to go quite far. But for some reason, her gut reaction was, defense matrix and started boosting at us very briefly as well so you know that's convenient and all we didn't manage to collide with the wall we skated along the side of it into the abyss instead but at least diva went down with us that's the worst situation imaginable when you push some take somebody over the edge with the charge but they've got vertical mobility so you take them away, and then bam, they just jump back up. And then you die, but they don't die. And that's just the worst. Then you feel like a real fool. So we die. Whatever. We're getting back. They haven't made much ingress so far, so it's fine. It's fine. We've got Earth Shatter built up now as well. They've got Toes. We do have to worry a little bit about Toes. We decide to not worry about Toes. Instead, we have decide to just walk straight through his shield and fucking Earth Shatter. Zarya saves us from Gravitic Flux. Thanks, Zarya. That is certainly one way to resolve the Toes issue. Just walk right on that motherfucker and use Earth Shatter. That's also how you resolve the Orissa situation. But you have to be able to get to the Orissa, which is oftentimes the actual hard part. So we could have tried doing sh some shield jumping here instead of just like walking backwards with our shield up because then we'll get, gain, uh, move back a little bit faster. We'll get hit by a couple of the rockets while we're doing it, but like instead our shield just breaks before we can fully get around the corner and we die. It was a, an, honestly, I'm just surprised she went for the barrage at all to be honest with you, but it sort of works. So that's me shown, isn't it? Batista is using amplification matrix really bad for us um the things are not exactly looking good right now what i'd honestly try and do is just push straight through the amplification matrix because if we hang out on this side of the amplification matrix with them just sat over there plinking away at us we're gonna die on the point because our shield's about to break even if it wasn't they're gonna break it soon with the amplification matrix and, you know, there's an easy way to deal with the amplification matrix. You just walk through it on the enemy team. As soon as you advance past the amplification matrix, they have two choices. Leave the matrix and just accept it's gone. 
or try and run past you to get to the other side of the amplification matrix, which is not exactly good for them. So, just like, it, it, it's one of those things where like the situation wasn't gonna be good regardless, but hanging out on the point in front of the matrix is like definite death. I'd rather like go up and like try and make a fight out of it at least. Try and bully them off of the matrix and see if we can get away with it. So, Diva got into her mech, heartbreakingly just far enough away that we wouldn't be able to kill her. Uh, we should not be doing that. We were not looking at our health bar, I feel like, right here, because it's already bad, and we keep going in a little bit harder. Oh, fuck, one health. Oh, Jesus. Um, the thing, the lamp right now is really inconvenient for Reinhardt because it's just a little bit too healthy. It, it takes three full swings to break the lamp, and usually that means you're gonna need to get an extra swing in on the person in the matrix to, or in the lamp to actually kill them. But it's okay, they're about to reduce the lamp's health enough that two swings from Ryan would be able to kill it, which is great for people like me. Um, but we, we are just going in way too greedy to try and uh, swing in there. We need to be more conservative. So we get back in time again anyway to start trying to contest the point. Two of our team just died right in front of our face. You gotta be really careful when you take your shield down to use uh, Fire Strike in front of the Amplification Matrix because you are going to take more damage than you expect to every time. The Matrix is a fucking strong damage boost. I've done it before. I've been like, I can Fire Strike through. Oh, there goes all my health. Uh, you gotta... Gotta respect the matrix and be like, if you're gonna take your shield down in front of it, you've gotta be really sure what you're doing is a good idea. Because otherwise, you get fucking killed. You always take more damage than you're expecting to with the amplification matrix. Um, you ever walk out in front, it's like, in line of sight of like the bastion when the matrix gets there and you're like, it's okay, I'm gonna get, I'm not, I'm dead actually, I'm not actually gonna get to cover. You gotta go like all of two feet, but he's doing like a thousand damage per second. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but I mean, that's kind of the point of bastion and the amplification matrix, isn't it? So the play is just, don't let him bully you, basically, you know? So Toes is uh, going to slam us right now. It's going to be really painful. When an ability does half your health and damage, it's never very fun. I like that little tilt up because this this is exact the exact moment where Farah started ulting. And we just look up a little bit like, huh, wonder where that is. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So we threw the fire strike at her. Usually not a great idea. We could be letting the shield regenerate right now. We're not actually blocking anything. I understand it's scary. That's a scary amount of health to have when you're playing a big boy. But there's there's nobody there. We could be having the shield down right now, regenerating a little bit. You gotta take every moment you can to let your shield regenerate. Especially when you're usually playing against a double shield comp. You gotta let that boy regenerate. So we're being very patient right now. We let our shield regenerate up to full. You don't need to let it regenerate up to full every time, you know, but... We, we were very patient, we let it regenerate up a lot before we come out again, which is better than coming out when it's not healthy at all. And then we earth shatter these bad men. Soldier started using earth shatter. Soldier started using earth shatter. That'd be fucking scary, wouldn't it? Soldier started using tack fires, or we ult him, we kill him, good times. Uh, I do like the patience we had to actually like sit and wait for our team to regroup and our shield to regenerate before we came back out again. A lot of people would have just come out here like, I gotta go tank it. Our soldier's using attack visor. It's very productive, as you can see. A lot of people just be like, I'm fucking going, and I gotta contest that point. And then they get clapped, because they're going out there with a 500 health shield at, like, a quarter health. But we were very patient. It's good to be patient when you're playing Reinhardt. Reinhardt players are not patient enough. Just broadly speaking, none of them have patience. Yes, that includes me. So, it's, if you can't, it's so hard to resist, you know? You see that man pressed right up against the wall, and you're like, I could fucking kill him. Never mind the fact I'm on the other side of the objective, right? Never mind that I'm charging from, like, one side of Sanctum to the other, right? Fucking disregard that. I gotta get him. I gotta get him. Am I necessarily gonna get him? Well, may, no, may, probably not. Not good odds, but what if I fucking did, though? What if it fucking worked, though? Eh, eh. Uh, we should have took our shield down sooner than that. Nothing very much was happening at the time, and we let it get really low. 
We could have took it down sooner and let it be regenerating um, slightly earlier. You gotta take every little second you can get as Reinhardt. They tell you when you're learning how to play tanks, Reinhardt in particular, that you should have your shield up as much as possible. The goal is actually to have it up as little as possible. So we earth shatter the bad men. Tragically, the lamp is here, um, which really puts a damper on things. But the lamp gets broken. We killed Batista. It's still fine, all the same. Um, there's a bastion now. I could hear him before I saw him. It's like, oh yeah, we're getting shot by Bastion. Here he comes, doing the good old rotato potato. Um, I was gonna say something about the Earth Shatter. It's fine. Um, basically, like you know, sad the lamp was there, but whatever. We killed him anyway. Bastion never came back. Problem solved. Now, as you can see, the attacking segment's a lot shorter than the defending segment. So, do we get full held or do we crush him? Do we absolutely fucking crush him? Now's the time to vote. So, I don't know why there's a pencil here. It's not like I ever write anything by hand. Ugh, physical media, how disgusting. But it makes me feel more important to hold it, and that's the important thing. So we're doing a lot of ambling around in the choke point now, not being very decisive uh, with our movement. Uh, we might be, like, waiting for, like, people to walk up behind us a little bit more or something. But, like, there was just a lot of, like, ambling in the choke point. Like, nah, nah, not really committing one direction or the other. Um, Toes has come in after us. Toes, uh, we've ended up isolated from our team because they didn't follow us through the doorway. And, you know, such is life. Um, this is where the rearview mirror comes in really handy with Reinhardt. You can turn around to actually see if anybody's coming up behind you without turning your shield around now, which is great. Very highly recommend. Not enough people do it, myself included. Because when you're going through the choke point, you want to know that your teammates are actually following you. So if you give a look behind and you can see that they're all like a mile back, you know that now is maybe not the time to go through the choke point. Now getting your team to go through the choke point when you're playing Reinhardt it's a very hit or miss experience, um, which you know, it, it, it's always very funny to me because people go, mm, "How am I supposed to win when the tank is a pussy and won't go through the choke point?" But I'm the tank and I'm trying to go through the choke point. But I look behind me and I see that all of my teammates are three miles behind me, and I don't want to walk through the choke point by myself because I'll get fucking clapped. So you know. Hey, maybe be a little bit more inclined to actually follow the tank through the choke point when he's gone through the choke point And maybe you'd see better returns than just kind of watching him from over on the other side of the map like you're doing great sweetie Go get him. You got to follow the tank if you don't follow the tank he gets clapped And that's today's PSA follow the tank through the choke point you cowards Before you call the tank a coward wonder are you the coward? Actually, you might be the coward the whole time. The tank can easily also be the coward, though. So, Amplification Matrix is right here. So, we got two choices right now. We completely disengage, and we just get around one of the corners. We can go around the van on the side of us, or we can go around the corner and just, like, completely disengage. Whatever. Either way, get out of line of sight of the Matrix, or push through the Matrix. Those are our two options right now. Instead, mm, uh, what do I want to do? Uh, okay, I guess I'll come over here because Moira is using coalescence. There's no reason we couldn't have just tried to walk through the Matrix right now and start bullying them backwards because, like, think about what we're looking at right now. We're looking at Toes, Moira, Batista, Soldier. None of which are particularly keen to be, like, getting hit in the face by Reinhardt and... We're at 92% I'll charge right now. So if we go in and we get one swing in on these boys, we can just earth shatter them immediately. And you know they're about to walk up to this matrix to try and use it. So if we walk forward, get through the matrix, swing, we're gonna hit two people probably. Bam, we get earth shatter, slam the ground, kill them all. Instead, we're like, mm, oh, what do I wanna do? What do I wanna do? Oh, I've got. Got Shatter now. Eh. Moira's using Coalescence, though. Also, fuck Moira. Earth Shatter that bitch. 
they are never ready for it. And more often than not, you're killing the main healer. And you'll probably get someone else. They tend to start following the Moira in at that point. I'm also sorry for slamming the table with the pencil. I got very excited. And it probably sounded very bad. But, you know... What can you do? Well, I could have not done it. I could edit it out. That doesn't sound like me, though. That doesn't sound like me at all. So, marching our way in. We're making some progress. We've got Earth Shatter. Moira's using Coalescence. Moira's not using Coalescence anymore. We only Earth Shatter the Moira. Now, we are telegraphing really hard what our intent is right now. And it makes it very easy for Toes and Moira to just split up. And then suddenly our Earth Shatter is much less good because we can't hit them both anymore. It would be less of a telegraph if we just walk through his shield with our shield up. Or just walk through his shield. We could take our shield down if we really want to because Zari has bubbled us. So it's not exactly shocking if we would then take our shield down but like doing this big swing around the side of the shield is a very telegraphing maneuver if i'm playing reinhardt if i'm playing toes or i'm playing moira right here i'm ready to push a button at this guy because i can tell what you're about to do toe should be moving his shield and moira should be hovering on that fade button right now because there's nothing else ryan's planning to do if he suddenly swings around the side of the shield Walking through the shield is actually less of a telegraph than doing that motion. Because, of course you're going to march through the shield. We're trying to push in onto the point right now, so that's what you'd naturally do. But just doing raw right around it, what can Reinhardt be thinking other than, gotta get my earth shout around the shield? And you don't want to telegraph what you're planning when you're playing Reinhardt. The more, like, obvious you are with what you're about to do with the Earth Shatter, the easier it is for the enemy team to block it or dodge it if they're able to do so, right? We want to keep, keep our plan on the down low, if at all possible. So, Soldier's using Tac Visor. He's pushing his way in right now. Um, we could be playing, like, way more aggro than we are right now. Like, these people are out of position. We could start shield hopping towards these guys to get into this fight right now if we wanted to. Like, again, they're people that don't want us to be right on top of them. Soldier's using Tac Visor. They're out of position anyway. We could have been, like, hopping towards these boys to try and, like, get in on this fight as fast as possible. Um, soldiers using tac visor right now. We don't need to hold the shield up right now We are going to be right in soldiers face which means we'll be able to just block physically with our body and Start beating him to death and as soon as you've swung on the soldier once while he's using tac visor He starts thinking twice about running past you anymore at that point if you're playing Reinhardt um, If you're too far away from soldier obviously then you want to hold the shield up So you're blocking the tac visor for your team. Yeah, but if you're right in soldier's face, as long as you're not likely to die to the to him shooting at you, fucking smack that guy. Just fucking hit him and just like walk around him so that like you're blocking his line of sight with your body. Because big Reinhardt's a big boy. You can block line of sight no problem while you're smacking the guy. So we got played the game. Good job, us. It was a pretty good earth shatter. Um, we also stopped somebody's ultimate with it, so bonus points as far as the algorithm is concerned so um i can't really think of one overarching thing that stood out in that game um i guess shield management probably mostly that was like the one thing that i was pointing out the most was shield management um and it's like the biggest skill testing aspect of reinhardt to be honest with you um reinhardt's not exactly a hard guy to play you know, you know, mechanically, fairly straightforward. Most of it is all is all shield management and like using Earth Shouter. That's Reinhardt. That's the Reinhardt experience for you right there. So uh, anyway, pretty good Reinhardt game overall, to be honest with you. Um, I also be more decisive, I guess, because we were you know ambling around, like not sure what to do in a few spots. Fucking go, just make a decision. Doesn't matter if it ends up being the wrong decision. If it ends up being the wrong decision you made, hey. You learned not to do that again the next time you're in a similar situation, right? But just be decisive. If you're gonna make, a, if you're gonna, you go. If you're going in, fucking go in, dude. If you're not going in, disengage. Whatever. So I'm like, mm, think about it in the choke point and stuff like that. Just either go in or go out. Those are the two things you're doing. You're either going in or you're going out. 
So anyway, thank you very much for watching if you did. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, I'm more than happy to answer. If you haven't already, you can join our Discord and ask questions more directly and have a conversation about them, or just ship posts with us. I've started streaming on Twitch, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 8 p.m. EST till midnight EST. There's a link to the channel in the description. And if you managed to make it all the way through the video and somehow still enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe for more content of middling quality in the future. And I hope you found the video helpful.